What is a bull or bear market? In this quick video, I'm going to give you an introduction to bull and bear markets, what they are, how they work, and how it affects your investments. My name is Jennifer and in this video, I'll be teaching you the basics of a bull market vs. a bear market. Let's get started. A bull and bear market are terms used in the financial world to describe what is happening with a particular stock, bond, or other investment. The term bull refers to when prices are going up and people are feeling optimistic about the future of that investment. Conversely, a bear refers to when prices go down and people feel pessimistic about the future of that investment. Understanding these two terms can help you make better decisions on your investments by knowing whether it's time for you to buy or sell an asset based on its current price point. For example, if we were in a bear market right now, then I would be selling my stocks because they're worth less than what I paid for them. Hi, the Crypto Cell is an education organization that helps newcomers learn about cryptocurrency investing so they can invest and trade responsibly and safely with our expert advice on diversifying your portfolio, buying low, selling high, and avoiding scams. Markets experiencing sustained and slash or substantial growth are called bull markets. Markets experiencing sustained and slash or substantial declines are called bear markets. Each presents its own set of opportunities and pitfalls. What is a bull market? A bull market or bull run is defined as a period of time where the majority of investors are buying, demand outweighs supply, market confidence is at a high, and prices are rising. If in a given market you see prices quickly trending upwards, this could be a sign that the majority of investors are becoming optimistic or bullish about the price increasing further and may mean that you're looking at the start of a bull market. Investors who believe that prices will increase over time are known as bulls. As investor confidence rises, a positive feedback loop emerges, which tends to draw in further investment, causing prices to continue to rising. Because the price of a given cryptocurrency is substantially influenced by public confidence in that asset, a strategy some investors use is to try to determine investors' optimism in a given market. What marks the end of a bull market? Even during a bull market, there will be fluctuations, dip, and corrections along the way. It can be easy to misinterpret short-term downward movements as the end of a bull market. This is why it's important to consider any potential signs for a trend reversal from a broader perspective, looking at price action over longer time frames. History has shown that bull markets don't last forever. And at some point, investor confidence will begin to decline. This could be triggered by anything from bad news like unfavorable legislation to unforeseen circumstances like the COVID-19 pandemic. A sharp downwards price movement can begin a bear market where more and more investors believe prices will continue to fall, causing a downward spiral as they sell in order to prevent further losses. What is a bear market? Bear markets are defined as a period of time where supply is greater than demand, confidence is low, and prices are falling. Pessimistic investors who believe prices will continue to fall are therefore referred to as bears. Bear markets can be difficult to trade in, particularly for inexperienced traders. It's notoriously difficult to predict when the bear market might end and when the bottom price has been reached as rebounding is usually a slow and unpredictable process that can be influenced by many external factors such as economic growth, investor psychology, and world news or events, but they also can present opportunities. After all, if your investment strategy is longer term, buying during a bear market can pay off when the cycle reverses itself. Investors with shorter-term strategies can also be on the lookout for temporary price spikes or corrections, and for more advanced investors, there are strategies like short selling, which is a way of betting that an asset will decline in price. Another strategy many crypto investors employ is dollar cost averaging, in which you'd invest a set amount of money, say $1.50, every week or month, whether the asset is rising or falling. 
This distributes your risk and allows you to invest through bull and bear markets alike. Where did these bull and bear terms come from anyway? Like a lot of financial terms, the origins aren't clear, but most people believe they derive from the way each animal attacks. Bulls thrust their horns upward, while bears swipe downwards with their claws. There is, of course, a long history of theory and evidence around the origin of the terms. If you're curious, this Merriam-Webster explainer is a good place to start. In conclusion, bull markets are good for the economy and signify a time of market optimism. Bear markets, on the other hand, represent periods of pessimism when investors believe prices will continue to decline. It is important to note that this does not mean bear markets never have opportunities or they do not provide long-term gains in spite of being difficult trades in the short term. If you're interested in learning more about how to invest in Bitcoin so it can be part of your diversified portfolio, then consider reading our free crypto investing ebook, which will teach you everything from A to Z. You may also want to look into other cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum if you're looking for something else worth investing in outside of Bitcoin. With all this information we hope, that we have helped make your decision easier when it comes down to deciding between Shiba and Ucoin and Cardano. Can you give me an example of a past bull market or a past bear market? Feel free to comment below. We can do more research on this topic with your information and send me an emoji below with the topic you're struggling with and would like to see more content about our experts. We'll help you with that. This next video is going to be really cool and you should subscribe to my channel while it's still free. I think you can learn a lot from our experts and it would make me happy to have you as a part of my subscriber family. Feel free to share this with anyone you think might also enjoy it.